Hey, so a couple of weeks ago, I was working with a client and we were doing um, really just starting off with just some what we call basic, not that it's basic, but basic somatic body work. Just kind of some energy work mixed in with help and release, back pain, things like that. Uh, well, it's segued into a lot of work with uh, generational trauma, gener generational, generational healing is what I'm gonna call this. I, I prefer it as to having anything of the negative connotations with it. So generational healing. Um, and what came up with this and my client was something that had happened at, um, the best we can figure out time-wise, uh, she could figure out was the um, last turn, you know, last turn of the century-ish. So late 1800s anyway. And which was not a time when a lot of people could um, get together and be together due to different nationalities and or or historically where one party came from and where the other one was from so uh you know and i understand not wanting to talk about those things on a uh, personal level um but i think that now it's a time to, especially like with my client, it's that time that she's needing to help heal her body and her mind and her spirit with, with life and where she is and things that have been passed down through those generations that are stuck in her cellular makeup, right? So, you know, I'm not going to go in too much with what happened. As I kind of mentioned, you know, a lot of times people weren't allowed to be together. It was still considered very, very taboo. Um, and the sense that I got with it and, and in talking with her is that it was a consensual relationship. It was just not one that was allowed at the time. So that's what split these people apart. That's what shifted to where my client is, where she is now, that type of thing. Okay, so she went home feeling great, body's release intention, that kind of thing. Um, she ended up talking with her mom, and this is where a lot of times throughout the generations, it's not discussed. Uh, it's just culturally, there are so many things that happen that you don't talk about it at all. Uh, well, my client went to her mom and, and told her mom about what we came up with and her mom was just blown away because as what happens, she's like, I've never told anyone that story. And my client didn't even know the story at all. Not that she didn't believe me, but it just, you know, her, her mom never talked about it which I know is common for so many people. Uh, so number one with that, yes, I'm going to admit that was a boost to my ego because I was right, which doesn't really matter, but sometimes it does. You know, it's, it's nice to have the confirmation with it. So I'll leave it there with that one. Um, if you want to say, uh, it boosts my ego, then hell yeah, it boosted my ego. It was great. Um, but what a healing process for mom involved too of, wow, this can be talked about now and it, it's in a safe place and doing this from that, that place of healing. And that's what I love about working with clients uh, for, for the somatic aspect as well, to help with that, what's stuck physically in your body and then being able to take it to have that next thread that is healing for people to release that generational gunk, that crap, that bullshit, the silly, why the hell do we do these things to ourselves as humans? Oh my gosh, why do we do that? I just want happiness and kindness and ease, ease of the body, um, ease of thought processes. So 
Thank you. Thank you for my client for allowing this to come to the front and to really allow me to be a part of this. What a beautiful gift. What a beautiful gift to her as well, to the whole family, so that from here on out, those threads can compound on grace and kindness and true communication and no more having to hide things and shoving them in weird places within our body that get stuck, that turn into illness and pain and all those things that are not beautiful and thriving for us. So that's it. Yes, yes. Uh, healing the body, healing the mind, healing the spirit. Uh, you know, just taking those little steps to living in grace and comfort and ease and wellness and wholeness and ah, all the good stuff. All the good stuff, right? The stuff that we say that we want, but is so fucking hard to do. Yes. So kudos to you, those of you that are doing it. Thank you for those of you that allow me to be a part of it. I love, love, love this. All right, I'm going to be quiet now. Have a good one. Talk with you later. Bye.